Okay, so now we've got uh, Nelly, we're going to start to repeat her. So the first thing you're going to need to do is to select the image. In this particular program, and I'm sure in the program that you're going to use, you've got a selection option to turn off the background. Here you can see transparent selection. Turn it off, and this time also, instead of selecting a rectangular tool, use the freeform selection tool so that you can get a different shape. What you're going to need to do is very carefully go around the edge of your object and see if you can cut it out as accurately can. Now you can see I'm using a mouse to do this. It's quite tricky and you might need to practice it a few times. Once you've done that, you're going to need to copy it for me. So copy that so that it can then start to repeat. You'll see here now once we start to paste, you'll get a new Nelly appear. And you will see here that she's transparent and she's overlapping the one before. So what I can do now is think about where I want to repeat. I could put her here, so she's sort of joined on that way. We could put her underneath if we wanted to. But what I'm going to do is sort of overlap her here so she interlocks slightly. Now you can see obviously there's a bit of a gap here where there's a problem where the two elephants overlap slightly. So all you need to do is to zoom in a little bit and to neaten this bit up. So what I could do here is use a different colour, use, make sure I've got a nice big brush to work with here, let's go for a large size brush, and then I can just clean off these extra bits that we don't want. So we don't want this bit of the elephant because it's un over the top of the other one, and then we can also just need it any other little bits like this that we can see. So you can start to build your elephant repeat, as you can see I've done here. And you can do this several times. If I paste another one, the next one will also come and we can start putting one at a time and building very quickly, as you can see here, a tessellation. Now, in true Blue Peter style, I've got one here that I started earlier and you can see you can quite quickly and easily build up a tessellation of lots of animals. Just check that you've got no overlapping bits where there are wrong bits are and don't worry if it's not perfect, it really doesn't matter. If you want some ideas as to what to do for this, then have a look on the internet. There are lots and lots of different styles of tessellations of animals like birds and fish and dogs and cats. Think of something quite simple to do. Don't do anything too complicated to start with because you're going to need to try and tessellate this as best you can. Okay? Have a bit of fun and see what sort of tessellation you need to come up with. This would be great. You don't need to fill the whole page. Just do a few and see how you get on. If you want to Colour this in, a good thing would be to try and colour it in on your programme, or you can print it off and colour it by hand. Either way would be fine. Have fun! Yes.